They recommend this place all of the time, but I don't come since it's a little bit salty. <laughs> but it isn't too salty. I put salt on it. <laughs> You're too funny. <laughs> what happened? Did I say something wrong? I was talking about all the money. Ah. Uh. Having money is good, right? Then you can do whatever you want, and life is much easier. Try some of these tomatoes, huh? Mm. We have the best of everything, don't we? Yes. I have really missed this good taste so much. Are we drinking soda all night? I just wish we could drink something else. In honor of the great sales, I mean. Come on, Mukadis. When you drink, you're worse. No way, no way. <laughs> Let's eat something. Then we'll go to the concert. Okay. No, let's go. I'd really like to try and grow some tomatoes next season. Uh-oh. What happened? Well, aren't they the ones? The ones what? The ones who just bought our houses. Oh, well, yes, that's them. They didn't see us. No, they didn't. Well, I think that they have seen us. Because I know they weren't here before. I saw them when I was going out. They only met in the morning. Why are they so close? Well, who knows? They only just met this morning. Now they're in the same car. I don't understand it. But what's not to understand? They must have known each other before. Rami, don't speak when your mouth is full. Why do you always make him shut his mouth? Are you afraid? Why would I be afraid? Don't ruin this dinner. I just want to eat my fish. They ran away when they saw us. So why were they afraid of being seen together? Do you want to obsess on this? My goodness, why are you acting like a detective? Both of our closings were on the same day and I was already suspicious of that. I smell a big rat. I couldn't find a buyer to sell my house to. It's a little bit interesting. Could Aiden possibly be one of Munir's guys? Yes, I think so. They wanted us to come here immediately. And Aiden said that we should come here on Friday. Why on Friday? Because Friday is the Yasaran's wedding day. They didn't want us to be getting in the way. I'm amazed with what you come up with. Instead of being a herbalist, you should write novels. Goodness. obsessed, you know? Why do you think it was Munir? Everything's very clear. That man has something to do with it. Oh my goodness. You create trouble out of nothing. Robbie, can you give me your cell phone? Why? Do you need it? Huh. We'll understand very soon if the inglorious Munir is involved or not. It's really a lot of land. And it's just standing there. I wish they gave us a little bit. We could cultivate it then. And it'd be useful. What do you think? Am I wrong? Yeah, you're right. Hello? Mr. Aiden, hello? Oh, uh, hello? I'm Mr. Munir's assistant. He wanted me to ask you if the house's sale is over and complete. He said that you didn't call him today. Oh no, I texted him long ago. I texted him when the sale was over. I didn't call him because I didn't want to disturb him. Hello? I'm listening. The sale is done, and we bought both. Please tell Mr. Munir that... You tell him my message, Mr. Aiden. I'm Miriam. I understood what he's trying to do now. You hear me? And I will have revenge for all of this. I understood why he took my house. I understood why he has done all of this. I know it all. You tell him, you hear me? You tell him what I am telling you right now. This is not over. And now, you're going to tell me what's going on with all of this. Why didn't he want us to be back in our town? Why did he send us to another town at the same time? 
How do I know, Ebenine? I want to hear the truth. Do you understand me, Mukadis? Only the truth. I know you know everything. And you will tell me everything. You'll say he did this because he was afraid that we might do something so terrible at the Yasaran wedding. Uh, sit down. You'll say because in the beginning I lied to you about it all. I have hidden the truth from you because you know that both Salim and Erdogan are also involved in all of this. You're gonna tell me everything. It's true, Mukadis. Were they involved in this? They were. I know who's behind all of this. Rasat Yasaran. They are so powerful. We had no choice but to stay quiet. But that man, Munir, he told us that he would help us. Why do you think I'm resisting all this? Nothing is what it seems. They'll kill Karem if we talk. You know they can't do anything. Do they really scare you this much, huh? Why are you scared? Oh, calm down, woman. You listen. You think Krim's innocent? He's guilty. He's in it as well. He was persuaded. He took money from those men, all to shut his mouth. He's one of them. Oh, no. I swear he took it. Ask Rami. They gave him money to marry Fatma Ghul. They convinced him with that. You ask him if you want. I don't want to believe what I'm hearing. He went shopping for New Year's. Did he take any money from you? He never took any money from me. Look at me. If something happens, Karem will burn first. Every one of them can get out of this mess. But they will burn Karem without even blinking an eye, just to save themselves. You don't get it, do you? Again, Fatma Ghul and Karem will be the ones who suffer. And as they try to save themselves, we will be the ones that get crushed under them. So you just need to calm down. Think about it a while. Then you'll realize that I'm right. Hello, Maryam. What's up? I've learned everything, Karim. What will happen now? What are you saying you've learned? Everything that you didn't tell me before. How they paid you off so that you would help them to cover their nasty crime. Fatma Ghul also knows you took money from them, right? She is a good girl. How can she look at you? If I were her, I wouldn't be able to stop spitting at you. Calm down. I wanted you to tell the truth in front of everyone at the Yathron's farm. I said, don't be afraid of these men. You said nothing. It turns out that it's not because you were afraid, it's because you took No, that's not them. true. You told me nothing but their stories. Why did you protect them, huh? Why did you lie to me? Okay. Okay, I'll tell you everything. Of course you're going to tell. You will tell everything when I come home and staring right into my eyes. Oh, shame on you. Oh, shame on you and shame on me. Shame on me. Ha, <laughs> ha,